It's hard to cope with losing legendary or promising musicians, and unfortunately, 2018 has seen the untimely deaths of a long list of rap artists. From shootings to substance abuse and poor health, we're looking back at the legacies of some of the rappers who died in 2018. I'm probably gonna cry a few times during the course of this thing. I'm an emotional guy. 26-year-old rapper Mac Miller was found dead in his home from an apparent overdose on September 7, 2018. Known for his artistic reinvention and witty wordplay, Miller struggled with substance abuse and depression throughout his career. According to Page Six, he was arrested and charged with DUI in May 2018 after crashing his G-Wagon into a utility pole. The accident occurred just days after his breakup with pop star Ariana Grande, who claimed his substance abuse problems played a role in their split, tweeting, I am not a babysitter or a mother and no woman should feel that they need to be. I have cared for him and tried to support his sobriety and prayed for his balance for years. Miller opened up about the incident, telling Beats One Radio that the arrest changed him for the better, saying, I needed to run into that light pole and literally like have the whole thing stop. In August 2018, Miller claimed he did not have a drug problem, telling Rolling Stone, Have I done drugs? Yeah. But am I a drug addict? No. Following his death, Miller's family released a statement that read, He was a bright light in this world for his family, friends, and fans. Controversial Florida rapper XXXTentacion first found fame with the track Look At Me, first released to SoundCloud in 2015, then hitting the mainstream with its 2017 re-release, according to XXL. But X's rise, further accelerated by multiple Billboard charting hits and his number one album, Question Mark, wasn't without blemishes. By early 2018, Pitchfork reported the rapper was embroiled in legal issues tied to his ex-girlfriend, including charges of domestic battery, false imprisonment, aggravated battery, and witness tampering. X maintained his innocence, but never saw his day in court. Hey, I know how it feels to be alone. I know how it feels to be around people and feel alone. Like, I'll be around a million people and I'll like still feel alone. X was gunned down in Florida in June 2018. As of late 2018, four suspects have been indicted, according to XXL. 29-year-old Lewis Robinson Jr., a.k.a. Lewis Badass, got his first taste of fame with his 2015 song, Let Me Through This Be. But tragedy struck just two years later. Robinson was shot in a brazen daylight attack in Baton Rouge in May 2018. He made it to a nearby hospital but died about an hour later, as reported by an ABC News affiliate. His mother told The Advocate, It's just got to stop. I don't want anybody to go retaliate or somebody else get killed. It's just not worth it. My name is Smoke Dog. I'm from Regent Park. And I make music to tell my story from where I'm from. Canadian rapper Smoke Dog, whose real name is Javante Smart, was best known for 2015's Trap House, but he blew up in 2017 when he traveled alongside Drake for his Boy Meets World tour. Sadly, Smoke's rise to fame was cut short when he was killed in a triple shooting outside a Toronto nightclub in June 2018. Following the incident, Drake posted on his Instagram, I wish peace would wash over our city. So much talent and so many stories we never get to see play out. Rest up, Smoke. I've seen a lot of <laughs> Growing up in, 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 in my hood, you know what I'm saying? I've lost a lot of people. As of late 2018, the Toronto Sun reports police are eyeing two suspects in the 21-year-old's death, which is rumored to be linked to a video smoke filmed on a rival gang's turf, according to the BBC. I get to be myself, you feel me? I ain't got to, you know... Yeah. Be in the streets all day, every day, like I used to be. Chicago drill rapper Derek Fredo Santana Coleman battled drugs for years. Rapper Vic Mensa said of his friend via the mirror, he spoke about his drug use and trying to escape the PTSD he had from growing up in the hood. I call it post-traumatic streets disorder. But by October 2017, Santana's lifestyle reportedly landed him in a hospital for liver and kidney failure, according to XXL. During his stay, Santana even tweeted about possibly going to rehab, but he never made a full recovery. According to TMZ, the 27-year-old was discovered in his home, having died of, quote, a fatal seizure in January 2018. And I start thinking about everything that I do before I do it. And I just program that shit. And that's how I've been staying alive. Trayvon Smart, a.k.a. Jimmy Wapo, was on the rise thanks to his standout 2016 track Elm Street. But the rapper's life was cut short at just 21 when he was killed in a double shooting in Pittsburgh in June 2018, according to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. The incident reportedly happened just days after WAPO signed a deal with fellow Pittsburgh rapper Wiz Khalifa's label, Taylor Gang. Craig Mack's legacy will always be connected to the 94 hit Flava In Your Ear, 
which put Sean Diddy Combs' iconic Bad Boy label on the map. The track went platinum, but Mac and his debut album, Project Funk The World, would be eclipsed by his label mate, the notorious B.I.G., whose critically acclaimed Ready to Die dropped just a week before Mac's project did, according to XXL. You know what type of dude I am? You know what kind of muscles I got? You know what I'm saying? Right now, you need to be in the studio. Mac was subsequently dropped from Bad Boy and eventually left the industry, spending the final years of his life as part of a religious community in South Carolina, per the Washington Post. According to Newsweek, Mac passed away from congestive heart failure in March 2018 at 47. Rising Washington, D.C. rapper Antonio Harper Jr., a.k.a. A1 Lil Tony, was killed in a shooting in May 2018, leaving behind a growing social media following. According to an ABC News affiliate, police reportedly believe Harper was targeted. As of late 2018, there have been no arrests in connection with the 20-year-old's death. The hip-hop community was rocked by the sudden death of legendary rapper and DJ Kevin Smith, better known as Lovebug Starsky, in February 2018. He was just 57 years old when he passed away from a heart attack, according to Hip Hop DX. Everybody knows you when you're a star. Starsky was widely credited with coining the phrase hip hop, but he arguably never got the industry recognition he deserved. Thankfully, he was immortalized on Biggie's classic 94 hit, Juicy, with the lyrics, You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Peace to Ronji, Brucey B, Kid Capri, Funkmaster Flex, Lovebug Starsky. Melvin Finelli Baddies was shot and killed in the Bronx in January 2018, according to the New York Daily News. The paper reported the 34-year-old rapper was shot in the courtyard of a housing project that he'd reportedly used to film 2017's Half a Mill. As of late 2018, no suspects are in police custody for Baddies' death, and the motive remains unclear, according to the paper. When I jumped in the game, it was I was like late in the rap game, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that wasn't my thing. I was a hustler, you know what I'm saying? I was for real, I was for real hustler. Big T was featured on Lil Troy's Wanna Be a Baller in 99, which hit number 70 on the Billboard 200. According to Billboard, Big T was nicknamed the Million Dollar Hookman and was frequently featured in releases by other musicians. Sadly, T passed away in May 2018 at the age of 52 of a reported heart attack, according to Billboard. I'm doper than you. I spit better than you, but all that other this don't make no money. This Dallas MC C. Struggs, whose real name is Corey Struggs, seemed primed for superstardom. He caught industry fire in 2016 when he collaborated with Rick Ross on Do It. But tragically, the rapper died in August 2018 at 32 years old after battling cancer. Insiders told Urban Islands that Scruggs was in good spirits and still working on music in the days leading up to his death. A source said, his death is a big blow to the community. Everyone loves drugs. I guess I'm best known for kind of my innovative, crazy stunts in the action sports world. Though fresh on the music scene, Canadian artist John James was also a professional skier and thrill seeker, according to his Insta. But the 34-year-old's aspirations were cut short in a tragic stunt gone wrong. According to James's management, via CNN, an October 2018 stunt for a music video involved James rapping while walking on the wing of a plane. But James's weight reportedly sent the aircraft into a downward spiral, which the pilot then landed safely. But according to a spokesperson, John held on to the wing until it was too late, and he didn't have time to pull his parachute. He impacted and died instantly. I mean, I was faced with a lot of adversities, but I think that's, the, that's what made me, that's what made my story, you know, raw. Rapper Theodore Jones, better known as Young Greatness, kicked off his career with his Billboard charting hit Moolah in 2015. But before the Louisiana-born rapper could truly find success, he was fatally shot and killed in New Orleans. According to an NBC affiliate on October 29, 2018, the 34-year-old was sitting in his car outside of a Waffle House when gunfire broke out. Investigators reportedly found Jones with a single gunshot wound to the back. I've always been like most popular, all that so it was just natural, you know what I'm saying? Just hand to hand with the According to Hip Hop DX, 20-year-old rapper Marley G had been enjoying a night out at a Louisiana club on October 14, 2018, when he and another man were shot and killed. A 28-year-old suspect was arrested and charged for the killings, per KALB News. Marley G leaves behind a legacy that includes his provincial hits, I Got Em, and Worried About It, as well as multitudes of fans. You have to make peace with yourself when you like close your eyes at night. South African rapper Double HP or Hip Hop Pensula shocked the world when he apparently took his own life on October 24th, 2018. 
but it appears it was an event that those closest to him saw coming. A childhood friend told the Sunday Times, It's hard to put into words. Double HP struggled with questions that couldn't be answered. There were countless times, hundreds of times, that made me go home and worry. You kind of have that moment where you just kind of like explode, man. He appeared to finally succumb to his troubles at the age of 38, leaving behind a note per Times Live that reportedly read, I'm depressed. I am going out of control. I'm losing it. If you or someone you know is seeking help and support to deal with substance abuse or mental health issues, please call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.